Hey James at Barber Creek. Today we're going to talk about using wind at you or using wind at like I like to teach Max Award. In this case we're shooting about 1,540 yards with a 6 by Creedmoor. We got a little white flipper plate out there uh, and we got some clay pigeons out there at 1,543 yards. And what we're going to do is I'm going to read the wind at Max Award and using Mirage. So stand by. So I have a right to left wind. It looks to me that it's right about 3, 3 speed now I can only do three because there's no 0.4 mile an hour increments good and then I'm gonna make it come from nine o'clock or three o'clock as you were okay all right so I'm good stand by let me arrange the target again it's a little 10 inch white flipper and now I gotta find it there it is okay 1542 yards it's telling me 68 and a quarter up and two and a quarter on the wind and this is a 25 minute rotation turret on this tridge pond. So there's some 25, there's 15, 18, eight, okay. All right, so stand by real quick. You're gonna kind of see me jump back and forth because I gotta get these shots up before the wind changes. Right. I'm using the rear support is this other tripod. pretty easy uh, perfect wind that was the wind at max award we're shooting 1542 yards again if you look out there I'll ask Jan Jeremy to pan and look there's a valley out there our clay is actually in the valley our plate is actually in that valley so the wind is getting kind of that venturi effect right so now now I'm gonna leave this alone and I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna use the wind meter and we're gonna use the wind at us so let me grab the wind meter Old guy standing up. Okay. So I'm just going to use the Kestrel here. Let me turn it on. All right. And let me set it to wind mode. That usually helps. So I'll stand by. Weather. All right. So you can tell our wind is 1.5. And you can tell it's a tailwind. Uh, so I did account for that tailwind based on just brought it down a quarter minute. Okay. All right, 1.6, 1 1.3, 1 1.5, 1.2. So if I was taking it and holding it just like this, where we're using the wind at us, now let's go ahead and do this. Let's make it like everybody else does, and we'll face it into the wind. So let me turn around so Jeremy can see this. We know it's a tailwind. It's saying four mile an hour, five mile an hour, 4.9, 3.6. Now the wind switched, so now it's coming from this direction. So we're at 3.4, we're at 4.5, 5, just all over the map. So let's use the wind at us at a 4 mile an hour wind, and I'll set it in the rangefinder, and I'll make it come from that direction. From the left, as you saw. We try to do this where the wind switches. So wind speed, 4 mile an hour. Next, I'm setting it on a rotation. I'm going to make the wind come in from this point it was right at about seven o'clock I'm gonna rearrange the target and oh by the way I have the dial-ups perfect now it says that we need to dial 68 and three quarter one two three oh, bring it back down and then it's also saying that we need to hold left four and a half minutes I already know it's gonna miss all right so here we go I'm gonna go right back on target is the, uh, the camera recording all right I'm going to go four and a half minutes left wind. So there's one, two, three, four and a half. We'll go at the white plate. One, two, three. You're like that far off the plate because we use the wind at us, which is not the wind down there. We always have to use the wind that is in that 60% max or because that's the wind we're dealing with. And I'll show you one more time, just so you can see it. All right, I'm gonna go right back to where I was. I have a right to left wind 
at Max Ford. So let me change this again. All right, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna reduce the wind speed where I see it, which is about a three mile an hour wind. And I see the wind actually coming from the three o'clock position. All right, so stand by. And I'll double check it and make sure it doesn't change on us. I'm setting it to a three o'clock. All right, real quick. Yep, 100%. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna rearrange the target. And it's telling me now go back down to 68 minutes, like I was. And it's telling me that we only need to be about a minute by wind. So I'm gonna double check it. And it's because the wind just went up a little bit. Okay. Back at the white plate, one minute right wind. check that wind okay I'm gonna try to clay pigeon just for the fun of it okay clay pigeon on the left give it a minute right wind okay high which means what probably bad animal let's shoot one more wind was perfect by the way Well, we either hit it or knocked it over the clay, so on the one on the left, so it's what it is. Uh, again, 1,540 something yards, uh, clay pigeon. Uh, took us a few shots, I think three shots all together, but that's wind at max award. So in general, it's gonna be about 34 feet, somewhere around there, 32 feet max award. Uh, and I can see the mirage, I got the angle blowing about it was started, it did start at 70 degrees, but it was really tight waves, so we took off and it was a five mile an hour wind. And then it went up to about, again, 40 degrees, and we took off three quarter of that. So we're sitting at about a three mile an hour wind. And again, right now behind me, as you can tell, I can see the wind, I can feel the wind coming from behind me and it's coming from that angle. That's not the wind we're shooting in. The wind we're shooting in is coming from this angle. Because again, you got a valley down there. We're getting the wind coming through the valley. And what is happening is that wind is picking up down in that valley. It's changing directions down there. Just because you get a wind reading of a certain speed at you does not mean, mean it's the wind that your bullet needs to be adjusted for. Uh, so I'm not at all a fan of using a wind meter. Okay, Wind meter is my last resort. Uh, but again, so another downrange shooting tip from James at Barber Creek. Thanks for joining us. Well, as you can see, we shot from over there. And there's our clay. And we definitely hit it. So. You can see where the bullet went through. And kind of all that's about left. So anyway, that's where we hit the clay pigeon. And the plate, you can see we got an impact, bottom right, middle, far left. So we got impacts on the plate. And that was shot all the way from over there all right well not a bad day of shooting as you can see the wind is everything i still prefer like i said to use the wind at max ord that way i can see the valley winds and i'm not guessing what valley winds are if you use the wind at you you're guessing what valley winds are all right and again here's proof of the pudding Clay pigeon at 1,547 yards.
Howdy everybody, Keith Warren here for Barber Creek, America's premier long range hunting and shooting school. Barber Creek is one of America's top long range instructors and life size animal targets out to a thousand yards. Enjoy a climate controlled classroom and shoot house, luxurious lodging and four course meals as you train with fellow outdoorsmen. Our level two master course puts you in real hunting positions off a tripod, bipod and backpacks with 25 life-size animal targets from 340 yards out to 1,670 yards on six stations. You'll become confident shooting at angles, reading wind and terrain, and shooting across valleys. When that once-in-a-lifetime shot only comes once, you can't afford to miss. Contact Barber Creek at 334-845-0000.